Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We're gonna tie a little Paragon jig that's been doing awesome for me lately. Um, I've got a Komodo 310 jig hook in the vise. You can also use a Hanak 450. And this is the size 14 with a three and a half mil bead. You could tie it with a smaller bead, but I want this one to be pretty heavy. I'm gonna use 12 out thread, cream, just start behind the bead, go up <clears throat> to the bend. We're going to do sparse tail, about four fibers of Coq de Leon. And we'll take out the excess. And then the body of this one is going to be a body quill from Hens. This one is the kind of multicolored um, number 56. I can't remember. It's kind of a mottled olive. You can use whichever body quill color that you want, whether it's Hens or Vivas. This is kind of a light olive coloration, more betus nymphy. It'll get a little darker once I put um, put some resin over on uh, over it at the end. And I'm also going to, um, at the same time I tie in the body quill, I'm gonna tie in a little bit of extra fine copper wire. I'll just wrap back. Then I'm gonna come forward You can spend some time, if you want, building a little bit of a taper just by going partially back and then coming back forward again. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'll wrap the body quill first, obviously. Let's see, get him separated out there. There we go. And you can tie in two, a lot of times I'll tie in two strands, but I forgot to do that this time. So I'll just wrap a single, single strand. I like to use a light colored thread with these body quills um, because if you use too dark of a thread underneath, you just see that dark thread through the, through the body quill since it's a transparent material. So if you want the, you know, the color of the body quill to really come out, you need to use something light underneath or else you won't, uh, you won't really see that. Trim out the body quill, save that piece for your next fly. And then we'll just rib it with the, um, the ultra wire. I'll do that one more time just clean it up just a little bit don't think the fish are going to care that much but okay we'll tie off our wire now we can just Wiggle that till it breaks. There we go. Okay. And then the last thing I do on this fly is I do a pearl collar and I'm gonna use opalescent sulky tinsel. You could use a really fine mylar, like a piece of flashaboo as well. And just tie that in right behind the bead. And then we will Let's make our little pearl collar, a few wraps, tie that off, and we 
think trim that out. And then just do a quick whip finish. And when I whip finish, I try to keep the thread wraps up from the whip finish and I don't need a lot of turns here, but keep them pretty tight to the bead so you're not covering up too much of that mylar. And trim that out. Okay, and now we're gonna run our UV resin on that. And I'm gonna use the Solar Res Bone Dry. Just get a little bit on there spin it get a little bit on the other side of the fly kind of spin that around a second and we'll quick hit it with our uv light Okay, and then I'm gonna take some uh, black UV resin. What I'll do first, just fill in this hole just a little bit more. With our clear, I'll take our are black now. We're gonna put that right on the back of the fly. Quick, get that set. There we go. Did a quick little Paragon style, but not as flashy. So I just used that body quills for the back and it's just got that little bit of a flash accent. It's been a really good fly. I tie it um, kind of on the shorter, smaller style jig hook um, in 14s and 16s, even down to an 18. Uh, really great fish with a larger fly um, and it's amazing how often the fish especially later in the season are picking up this smaller fly um, not going for the bigger flashier um, flashier fly in your two fly two fly rig so great great one to kind of mix it up a little bit you can definitely change that body quill color um, to whatever color you, you prefer but um, been having great great success with this fly and uh, definitely tie some up Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos coming soon.